Your own side business can take a lot of time, a lot of money, but it doesn't have to be as hard as you think. Business and marketing online strategist Jennifer Marilla joins us now with ways you can start a side hustle. Every day I'm hustling, hustling <laughs> for $150 or less. Got my attention. Good morning to you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, this is a New Year's resolution for a lot of people. Uh, maybe a new career, a second act, a second chapter. Uh, what do they get stuck on? though when they're trying to start their own business usually it's what do I do first do I need to open a bank account do I need to start an LLC uh, they don't know where to begin and people you know they, they look at the big picture and they're like oh my god what do I do what do I start and so I usually tell people you want to start with just getting crystal clear on exactly who you are serving and how you are serving them yeah because if you don't have a problem to solve what kind of business do you have right Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so what are some of your biggest tips to save money during the process? Because it so, does take a lot. Yeah, it does. So I would recommend um, definitely utilizing the online space. Like mm -hmm. we have phones, we're at the digital age, video content, being able to communicate with your audience through video, through social media is oh, yeah. so freaking powerful, right? So utilize it to the max, right? So the biggest thing I say is if you want to start a website, hold off on the website. Wait until you get crystal clear on exactly who you're serving. Start to make some money. Utilize some of those, the results that you've had and showcase that on social media. Social media is free. If you're looking to sell a product, mm -hmm. you can use a product. Uh, there's a website called Stand Store. Okay. You can use a product there. If you're, you want to really simplify the sales process, there's also um, ways in which you can do that through social media and stuff like that. But I highly recommend jumping on social media as quickly as possible. You, utilizing your audience through there. Investment is very important too. Yeah. So what are the top three things uh, you say people should invest in when they're trying to pick up that side hustle, hustle? <laughs> okay, so the first thing is, and all these things are free, right? Yeah. So you want to utilize Google. Google yes. to manage your emails, right? Mm -hmm. Then you want to utilize um, for booking calendars or anything like that, there's two platforms. You can use Calendly or Acuity. All of these are free up to a certain point. But when you're starting out, it's absolutely perfect. Um, and then for actually acquiring payments, mm -hmm. you have Stripe and you have PayPal. All of these are free. They do take a transactional fee, but it's the way you make money online. Do you have a website where people can go and get all of these uh, yes, websites website, and, yes. and information? Yeah, and links you can and... find me on social media right. and all of that stuff. Yeah, and there's thing. a lot of apps too that help with um, savings. I use uh, some myself where it just takes a certain amount of your yeah. bank account, and honestly, you don't even notice it sometimes. And then you go check it again. You're like, okay, yeah. I got stacks and racks on racks. Um, <laughs> what some of the people don't realize when they start a business that they, they really need to pay attention to? Finances. Okay. That's one of the biggest things. I know when I started my business, I wish somebody would have just told me, hey, listen, focus on how much you're making and how much you're spending. Start with an Excel doc. Mm -hmm. People are like, I need to buy QuickBooks. And it's like, no, actually, QuickBooks can be quite expensive, especially when you're just starting. So utilizing, there was an app that I used when I first started called Wave. Okay. And that's um, fairly fairly inexpensive um, but even if you just start with an Excel doc and be able to track how much you're spending and everything you're talking about systems lawyer fees all of that kind of stuff you mentioned research is important too as part of that research seeing the competition out there and making sure you're offering something different and maybe not too similar to what others are, are, are offering out there yes I love that thanks for asking yeah. that that's such a good question a lot of the times people get really stuck in their head with this market saturated mm -hmm. and like look unless you're a rocket scientist <laughs> or curing <laughs> cancer um, everything's been pretty much done right yeah so you want to really hone in on what makes you different mm -hmm. above everyone else the reason why people go to you is because of you and not because of anybody else and so just remember that and stick to that uh, stay in your lane blinders on baby <laughs> stay focused <laughs> and, and add that per personal touch too I think that's what makes yeah. a lot of people successful on Etsy yes absolutely yeah, yeah. any, any last thoughts you want to share with people as uh, they make those New Year's resolution to start that side hustle or? just start it do not overthink yeah. it start it uh, that is the first step most people sit, they have, they'll write it on a newspaper, they'll write it on a napkin at the restaurant. I know I wrote my first business plan on a napkin <laughs> at a restaurant. Uh, and it was the best thing I could have ever done. Just take that first step and, and just start it. That's awesome. Jennifer, yeah. thank you so much for coming in. Uh, what was the website people can go to again? So you can find me at jennifermarilla.com or you can check me out on social media and you'll be able to find all the resources okay. that you need. Yeah. I got another